Yes. 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 Uh, hello, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much, Rail fans, simulation lovers. My name is the Aussie Don, and thank you very much for watching us uh, here today. Uh, g'day to uh, my viewers, Gaming Beast and uh, Nano, is it? Thank you very much for joining me. Uh, so yeah, I um, yeah, the uh, ga it's on Gaming Pass for free. Uh, the uh, Train Sim World free. So yeah, I've had it uh, since the start of early access, but uh, I'm finding that there's more issues now with it, to be honest. But uh, yeah, um, I have got some mods. Yes. <laughs> I have some mods for it now. Now, I can tell you guys that uh, one of the mods that I had, and I gave it a little test run last night, and it's sounding way better, is on the BNSF. Uh, we have a new sound horn for it. We have uh, a lot of new things for the uh, the BNSF now that you can only get exclusively on the PC version, thanks to the Train Sim World community mods page. Uh, so... Um, I have enhancements now on the Southeastern High Speed, which you'll see here today, because we are doing Southeastern High Speed. Uh, so the enhancements that I had on Trans World 2 are back, yes. And they've been updated for TSW3. So, um, what are we doing today? Uh, let's have a look at it. It was something I was, I was meant to do late last night, but I was just so damn tired after that three hour live stream last night. I was just, yeah. And uh, yeah, if, uh, one particular person really ticked me off on that stream last night, and I'm not appreciative of that. Continues to make fake accounts to try to get in, and yeah. Anyway, we're not going to worry about that. We're not here to to um, diss people. So anyway, um, uh, the bus live stream I was meant to do last night. Yeah, I'm going to re rechange that. By the way, folks, I will be away this weekend, uh, so uh, you will be seeing a lack of content throughout the weekend. There will be not much added. I'm going to probably just add some. Uh, tutorials for Train Sim World 3, so you'll see those throughout the weekend while I'm away, uh, but uh, as far as the main stuff is concerned, like Saturday night on the rails is not on this week, uh, So and the Friday ticket, it's the off week for the Friday ticket anyway, so the Friday ticket wasn't planned for this week anyway, uh, so yeah, I am going away, uh, spend some time with my good mates and my, my lady, so uh, yeah, um, bit of time out, so yeah. We're planning a nice bonfire, which is going to be awesome. So, uh, right. Uh, so, uh, Crows Club Showcase. Oh, uh, we are doing the uh, Stanford Connect Class 375, Southeastern High Speed, uh, service number 1524. Okay. Uh, service number 1224. All right. Uh, one. One. Uh, one S. Or is it one? Is it one? Uh, one five. Anyway, I'll just go with this one. Uh, three seven five. Uh, Jeff. <laughs> My name is Jeff. Yes. Um, now I'm just going to find the one that. That's the one. The weather clear. Uh, so, all right, here we go. 1S uh, 24. So, one London Victoria to Ramsgate. Let's do it. All right, Diametic weather. Current uh, temperature is 22.7 degrees, which is uh, two degrees below, uh, two, two, almost three degrees higher than what it is here in Sydney at the moment. It's getting currently 20 degrees. And, uh, right, here we go. There we go. So I'm not too sure if I am actually leaving tomorrow or not at the moment, because, uh, yeah, there is a chance of uh, uh, some thunderstorms tomorrow, so if that is the case, then I might be still here in the studio, but, uh, yeah, I won't be doing anything when there's a storm on, because I obviously don't want my PC on while that's happening. Uh, so here we go. All right, a couple of services here today. This is the first one. Why is it so fucking doing that? All right, it usually does that at first, and then it just settles down. It does that on the bus as well. Um, don't have to worry about that. Right. So 
have a free seven fire seven on this one, and it's going to make sure that the enhancements are working. Sounds like they might not be. If that's the case, then I'm going to definitely uh, say something to the guy that's done it. The only way we can check it out is to go and get this collectible out of here. Because I think, I'm not too sure if this is the actual one that does the other variation on the paper. address that dude actually because I don't think he's actually got him up and running. Alright, I'll we'll have to uh, find out what's going on there. I'll send a message to that guy for sure. settings It's been spiking up way more ever since the the full release. It wasn't like this on the early access. Oh no, they're working. Yeah, they're working there on the side too. Hasn't, he just hasn't uh, changed those ones, which I don't really like. So he's he's put that one back in there. And then uh, these ones have been put back in there. Systems at any time, feel free to contact a member of station staff or use a help point. Um, did I put the showcase's name on here? No, I didn't. I'll have to do that after. 
same thing as I did yesterday when I did the showcase. I'd have to give the, had to go in and get the person's name, but anyway. can confirm that the ICE-1 uh, can run on some other German routes, which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, you can take the ICE-1 for Creators Club uh, onto the Raru Austin, I know that, because I have a scenario that I have gotten from Creators Club, uh, which will be a showcase. We will be doing a showcase on that one, uh, definitely. Uh, so, I might do that on the video, actually, and put that on the channel for the weekend. Because that is going to be a, a pretty short one, actually, because at Raru Austin, it's you know, not going to be that long if it's the ICE. So, I, um, I'll do a video of that one in my spare time. So, yeah, Grace Club's still not working through the actual game, so I go to the website. Just put the and you just put your dovetail account on uh, details in it and uh, it will subscribes everything on there and then it just transfers to whatever you're playing it on. So if you got your dovetail account, you, when you fire up your train sim world the next time around, you'll have all the uh, new uh, stuff that you've subscribed to. Yes, yeah, so just, just to clarify the um, the Xbox uh, free thing, it's uh, part of the Game Pass uh, now, so it's on Game Pass, and uh, you get just the standard free uh, routes on the Game Pass. I'm not too sure if you can buy any of the routes, or if you own any of the routes that, uh, that it comes across, or anything like that. I'm not 100% certain on it, so... I don't play on the Xbox. So. You would think it would, though. You would think you would be able to. So I, um, I tested a few things last night, that was one of the reasons why I stopped my streams last night as well, is because I wanted to go and test some things that are happening with the uh, lag and everything, and I went to put it in DX12 and everything, and um, no difference, no difference at all. So unfortunately DX12 is not helping. So yeah, we're just getting spikes again. I give up on it. So on the forums, I had I had details about the uh, ten second lag area on Hamburg Lübeck. Uh, put in a whole heap of stuff on it. Explained it as plain as I possibly could. Um, others have replied saying that they have uh, the same issue. Um, it's. Uh, no surprises there. I haven't checked the forums since because I've only just woken back up um, and come back on and just done this live stream. So I'm pretty damn tired still. I'm still waking up. Um, so yeah, I uh, can't see if anybody's replied later on. Hopefully dovetail is. It's a long-standing issue. It's been a long-standing issue. It's exactly like... Um, I don't know if there's a way that can try to optimize it. I don't know.
I thought DX12 would help it, but it just, yeah. Like, you can clearly, like, I'll put the frame rate up right now. You can see the frame rate right up there on the top right hand corner near the uh, speedo, uh, uh, near the uh, speed uh, area up there with the uh, signaling. And it says 80. Uh, so, underneath that's the frame rate. And you'll see how that spikes out in in different areas. Now, that's a good frame rate. That, don't get me wrong, that is a great frame rate. But the problem. I'm not, I don't have the problem with the frame rate, with that side of it. That's fine. But my problem is the free spikes that happen along your journeys. So, I'll, um, what I'll do here is that I'll put the voltage down to high and see if it makes any difference. See, the frame rate is the same. Now, did I save that? Did I save that? Yeah, see, I put it, I, I put it on save. There we go, see? Still got spikes. Random next stop. Sounds like a hair, a barber's hair, hair uh, electric uh, hair cutters, you know, was the, uh, <laughs> that's what that sounded like back then, or a massive generator. Sound like you in the factory with the machine, yeah.
So every time you see a W on the side of the uh, rails there, that is a uh, warning sign for a horn to see as a, a walking crossing or crossing coming up. Class 66, <clears throat> pardon me, Class 66. There is a sound mod in that for this one as well, but I haven't actually got it. It's got a sound horn uh, mod and sounds. And
couple runs on. We're doing a couple runs on here. We we'll say we're, it's not just this run that we're doing. We're doing a couple of them. So this is a showcase. We are showcasing the uh, Stanford Connect Class 375. Now, I'm not too sure if I've had the 375 variant of it before. I definitely have had the 377 on the London commuter with it. Um, you might have seen it many times over, rolling past every couple seconds. <laughs> you know what it's like, London commuter. Such an awesome, awesome route. Voted the number one route in Train Sim World 2 from us here at Australia Worldwide Gaming for the Train Sim World 2 era. I have to say, at the moment, at launch, uh, the Train Sim World 3 number one route is Cajon Pass. Even though it's got issues with the sound, the horn sound, but uh, hopefully I've rectified that now with the uh, sound mod. So. Had a little go on it last night. I actually started doing a video last night on it, and I had uh, my... Uh, I don't know if you've noticed, but over the last few hours, we've had uh, four new tutorials added uh, to the channel for Train Sim World 3. Uh, those that included the 465 introduction, the four, uh, 375 introduction, the Southeastern High Speed Extension introduction, and the Cone Pass introduction. So those are up on the channel now. I have to get in and do some more of them. I think I have the ICE free introduction done. I just got to post it. I just got to edit it and post it. So I'll put a whole a bunch more of them together and uh, start lo loading those on overnight. Just when I'm all loading them all at once, it takes longer for them to process onto YouTube. So it's, yeah. I think it was like between an hour and a half span last night of all four of them getting posted. That's how slow, bloody. Even with introductions, that's how slow YouTube is with loading stuff onto the thing. Now, you think with 270 gig download speed, you would bloody. It'll download quicker? <laughs> nah, it's YouTube. It's, it proves that the servers are the, are the culprit for slowness. You know, I noticed it running a little bit better. We've, uh, there's still a few spikes here and there, but a little bit better when I've turned off the foliage a little bit, so, uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep that on high now. I'm just, I'm not gonna run it on ultra. I'm not really worried about any pretty flowers. Should I better get down on that because that might be a red light on the next one. No, it's all good. Never noticed the difference between uh, Game Pass, standard Game Pass, and Game Pass Ultimate. I don't know what's the difference between those. It's probably like the PlayStation Plus thing where you got the extra freaking bloody layer on top of it and pay more. You know, like, I just think it's. For me, I got PlayStation Plus for 12 months and it's just been sitting there. Like, I don't even play my PlayStation 5. Uh, my mate's got a PS5 now, so when FIFA 23 gets released around then, 
I'll definitely be doing some gameplay of FIFA 23 on the channel. Uh, so I will uh, be doing some videos and stuff, and I'll throw them onto my USB and just uh, throw them into the YouTube, uh, onto the editing, and uh, hook it all up and ready to rock and roll for the channel like I did last year. And uh, I'll post a few videos. And probably see my mate flog the shit out of me. <laughs> he always likes to use red, he always likes to use Manchester United as well. I'm a Manchester United supporter, he's a Manchester United supporter, and uh, he likes to use freaking Manchester United all the time. You know what I, I sort of conquering with? I like to go Bayern Munich. <laughs> I just rip him with Bayern Munich. Oh yeah, I warn people, don't use Barcelona or FIFA, because they're shit. <laughs> I wish they would stop bloody getting up on the chair like that. It pisses me off. Uh, Alright, gold medal, very nice. Alright, our next run, I'm going to be not talking, so it's going to be a, a non-talking free run coming up. Alright. Let's go and have a look at the Crayers Club while I'm here, actually. Go and see if there's anything new that's been laid overnight. Um, oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, there has. Um, D78 stock. What's the difference between that? See, so no matter what I do when I go to subscribe something on here, it just doesn't doesn't work. So, GTA Five train. <laughs> Got some people got their life. <laughs> Turtle stack. <laughs> That's actually quite cool. Um, don't need to do the duplex blue one. It's already been done. So who would, whoever did that again is just wasting their time. Uh, Freightliner ones there. Yeah, I think I've already got one of them. So I don't have to worry about that. I don't think anything else has been added since so I've been asleep. Uh, somebody did the uh, did that one again. Yeah, that's been done. Don't have to worry about it. That's not a, ra a rainbow train. Okay, fair enough. Uh, Eurostar ICE, lol. Um, man, this idiot with Mega Sim. Seriously. Yeah, nothing else has been added. All right. I got that dragon one I was talking about last night on Midweek World of Trains as well. So that's uh, going to be a showcase coming up as well. The Sky Railway Dragon Train, uh, which is going to be awesome. That's on the BNS. Uh, that's on the Cajon Pass. So that's going to be a showcase. We're going to do that one. All right, uh, let's get back into our showcase we're doing right now, which is the Stanford Connect Class 375. And that is the uh, one that we are doing here today. All right. Uh, last played and Creators Club Design and here we go. Oh, that's not the one. No, we are doing this one. Um, right. And well, we can get it on the community if we want to. Well, what's this? Kent High Speed. Hello. They've renamed it.
Uh, let's do a lightning storm. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Die for some. I, I, I was really considering with the thunderstorms in the game now to do a new show called Thunderst Thunderstruck because I'm from Australia and obviously, um, you know, ACDC's from Australia and, um, you know, they're an awesome, awesome group and, uh, you know, uh, legendary in everywhere around the world. And it's like, you know, I thought, oh, you know, I'll do Thunderstruck as a, as a live stream and just do nothing but lightning thunderstorm gameplay so yeah i'm really considering it but uh let's see find out here we are now on this thunderstorm from the land jump right we caught some absolute rippers here in sydney uh, in the summer we fucking got one tomorrow apparently so not happy so that's why i might be holding off going away tomorrow because it is supposed to be storming uh, by the way, it is storming because, uh, so we're going to put on the night light instead. Oh, there we go. Let's see if we can get a fucking shot here. p.m. 5.43 in the afternoon, typical time of the t uh, day for a storm to be rolling in. <laughs> Now it's only on the side here because we've got this little shelter just here, so that is true to what the area is. Very good. So close those doors now. The bell is not working as well. I've already flagged that at Dovetail and they're already looking into it. So they've already confirmed that there is no red map here in September, which is obviously the case. And fingers crossed we get another UK route announced uh, on the roadmap. And if it does, I can tell you that I would not be surprised if it's a West Coast mainline after the massive Easter egg we have for it now. I don't know if you guys have played the updated Bakerloo line 2021 timetable, but I can confirm East, uh, the West Coast mainline now has freight traffic on it. And that is true to what it has. It does have freight traffic on it. It has uh, Mid London Midlands traffic. It has a Panolino traffic on it. Uh, so it has a Venny West Coast traffic. It has Midlands traffic. It has Freightliner uh, class uh, 66s on it. it. Has a blue variant of it as well. I'm trying to think what that name was.
Oh, that was a big thunder. There's one. Imagine if we went over the bridge and hit the submarine, the lightning. If anybody could get a screenshot with the lightning hitting the submarine, then man, that's going to be an awesome shot. I have to say, it would be an awesome, awesome shot. go with that one fantastic all right so yeah it is a nice library uh i will give you guys the uh, creator's name here in a second actually we'll go back to the main menu now and uh we'll do that we'll give the creator's uh name and then we shall do one last run on it uh right uh, that's what i went to do when i was in here actually uh do, 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 do. Now, I think I've got a couple of variants, so let's not got to work out which one's what. Uh, it. There's that BNS uh, one I was t talking about uh, on the stream last night, how I got those. So, yeah, that's really cool. Um, there's that dragon one. 
I'm going to do a showcase on that one as well, definitely. Uh, right. Got some nice uh, containers there. It's very nice containers. Um, right. Yes, there was an Amtrak design there. Um, it's a very nice Frank 77, that one there. Very nice. Um, there's a Virgin one. Palladino. <laughs> Lol. Yes, we know that the Palladinos used to be Virgin back in the days before they lost the contract. Uh, there it is. Uh, the 375. So this is the one we're doing here. So this is from uh, Maxim uh, 8647. Uh, Maxim 8647. Right, I'm just going to write that down, actually, because I'm going to uh, put the name of the person who did it in the description after the stream. I'll edit and uh, put that in there. So, Maxim8647, uh, if I could put a big thumbs up and give you stars, I could give you five stars for sure. But, uh, yeah, um, only you, if that was the case, if, uh, if we had a star rating and everything, then uh, we would end up being like uh, a mod site called Modland, and we'll just continue to get idiots that'll if I can just give you one star and just make you look like a fucking idiot. So it's not recommended. So, right. Because that's the way of the world. There's always trolls. So... Uh, we're going to go back to what we did last, obviously, and, uh, we got to go old Stanford Connect, uh, and, uh, what are we doing? Southeastern High Speed, uh, I like how it's got that now, Kent High Speed 2019, uh, um, to Rocker Share. See, these ones uh, only run through. What's this one? Drive uh, up the slidings to Femishin. Oh, yeah. That's uh, quite interesting. You know what will be really interesting? I, I know you probably guys are not going to like it, uh, but I'm going to uh, do it, definitely. And I'm going to do a nighttime service. Um, and it's going to be, um, once again, because I have not done this yet, uh, in a lightning thunderstorm. <laughs> Here we go. side of the boom arm. What side is it?
Oh, 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 oh. that look absolutely sick, that lightning bolt at night time. That is off tap. If we can get a shot, if we can get a good shot, man. By the way, um, I have on the forums uh, a nice, beautiful photo, a couple of nice photos for the uh, competition at uh, the latest competition. And, uh, what would I rate this game? Uh, well, for me, it's not a game, it's a simulation. It's a simulation. So that's what I call it, because, uh, I'm a long-time simulation player. And a uh, long-time Train Sim World player. I'm an OG. So for me, it's good. But for me, uh, the problems are uh, lack of optimization uh, is a major issue. Uh, problems with passengers, with some stations coming off the train, standing in front of the doors, major issue. Already pointed it at Dovetail Forums. Already pointed out about this particular issue with the bell. Oh, it's working now. Oh, it's finally, it's finally working. But see how sometimes I press it and it doesn't work. Um, but yeah, I for frame rate spikes and everything like that as well, that's major issue. Uh, I have to say that I will give it... Uh, optimization is a 2. <laughs> it's a bad, pretty bad. Uh, for its uh, trains and everything, 10 out of 10. Creators Club, 10 out of 10. For the uh, extension of Southeastern High Speed, I uh, give it a 9. It's pretty good. Thunderstorms, 10 out of 10. Uh, actually, no, I won't give it 10 out of 10 because I'll give that an 8 at the moment. Lack of lightning! Lack of lightning. I want to see more lightning. More bolts. Let's see if we get a good shot. Damn it. That was what I missed there. I like how it flashes through the night sky though, as well. It is actually cool. So overall score, I'll give it a, uh, I'll give it a seven. It would be perfect at ten out of ten if it was bloody properly optimized correctly and 
all the issues that bloody, you know, they never, ever will get on top of, no matter what, they always... Oh, there was a big lightning bolt in front of us there. For the lightning and everything, I've always called for, I've always begged for thunderstorms to be in Tranks and Well, so this uh, for me has been uh, my my birthday gift come early because I am uh, I'm turning 40 next month, so I... Uh, been in simulation ever since 1989 and I uh, started with SimCity back in the days so uh, that's where simulation became a part of my my life and uh, yeah, I played all the mad sims coming up growing up with uh, the Sim SimCity series of games that's all the uh, that's what got me into simulation so I used to love doing building simulation. I've done city skylines in the past. I've done a lot of detailed cities in city skylines. And you'll see it on my, all my old gameplay for that on my YouTube channel. I've done a city from scratch on PlayStation. Um, and I built it all the way up to the whole map. I've done uh, some mad stuff on the PC version as well. You'll see me build a big Westfield shopping center. You'll see me build a uh, auto city car park thing. Uh, you see me build a massive, massive, massive city around a harbour and some... Let's see if I can get a nice screenshot. Well, give me the screenshot. Damn it! You got it! I'm hoping I got that one. <laughs> I'm so open. I got that one. Let's see if I can get one on the side here. Come on, give me the lightning bolt. I did take a photo back there when that bolt was hit on the back there with all those, both of those trains on the stations. I'm hoping that I've got that shot because uh, that was a very good one. Yeah, seven out of ten. Lack of lack of optimization and uh, just too many issues across the field. But I give it a seven because you know I'm a long-time veteran. I can't can't diss it in the you know, sense of uh, it's unplayable. There there is a there is a few routes that are unplayable. Unfortunately, Spirit of Steam's one of for the PC Steam version. Spirit of Steam is unplayable. Hamburg Lübeck is unplayable. I had to take it off. Um, Spirit of Steam's unplayable, but I haven't taken it off because I, I've got the Jubilee for other routes. So, and Southeastern High Speed's got one now, and I want to do a showcase on that.
the Bakerloo 2021 timetable showcase yesterday, folks. I've done the update of Raru Austin yesterday. Still got to do Scottish commuter. Yeah, Cav Car's been renamed, has it? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> that one right in front of us then, that was off tap. My name is the Aussie Don. So my name is the Aussie Don, a.k.a. The Godfather, folks, and thank you very much for joining us. And this is a Train Sim World 3 Creators Club Showcase. showcasing the Stanford Connect 375 uh, on this run by um, Maxim 8647 Imagine if the lightning hit one of those people with the umbrella. <laughs> so we could get that shot as well, maybe. I've already got the uh, lightning actually hitting the ICE. I put that up on the forums on the competition for this week. But I got a mad screenshot of uh, me going over the bridge with the ICE. Last I checked, it was actually the most liked on the uh, on the competition, so at the moment I think I'm winning. But it doesn't mean, it doesn't mean because I got likes doesn't mean I'm going to win it. You know, it's not about that. You know, if I win it, I win it. If I'm not, I, you know, I don't expect to win it. They're never going to pick an Australian. They're going to pick someone from their own bloody region.
David Zinn once again, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, today uh, it's been a it's been a while since Dave's actually done it, but uh, he's doing the monetizing for today. He's looking after the chat. Anything he finds that's uh, suspicious, he will automatically remove remove the uh, comments. So I have no say in it, folks. Uh, he's in control of it. Works for the Australian Federal Cyber Police. The Internet Fraud Unit. That's what he works for. Cyber Fraud Unit. Whatever they bloody call it, some bloody fancy name it is. <laughs> Well, we're raining, and it it is raining. <laughs> we're raining, it's actually raining. There you go. That works out. It's actually a pretty good screenshot, even though there's no lining in it. I think it's unbelievably detailed. Ha! Ah, oh, the rain does wonders in this. That was the old. Um, if that was Train Sim World 2, folks, I reckon that light in front would not be as bright as it is. It's actually better. It's, it's not the best, but it's better than what it was. I actually quite like it being really dark like this. This is really awesome. I think the rain's starting to settle down. Actually, the storm's starting to break off. Well, there you go. The rain has stopped. So we started in the final storm, went all that way.
He had nothing relating to gaming or anything on his channel. Yeah. It was all headphones and shit. Yeah. That's why he would have flagged it. Yep, 100%. Because that country is well known for it. You've got you to be wary of them. Bro, I've been, in, I've been doing it for too long for not knowing. Trust me. I know everything. Oh, the clouds are all gone. Nice stars are out. Holy shit. It's, uh, it's now a beautiful night. And the moon is out. Oh, it's a full moon. Oh, watch out. Women. Detour. up. <laughs> Don't piss a woman off in with a full moon, folks. Trust me. Ooh, they'll start howling. No, no offense to the girls out there, but uh, yeah. <laughs> it's like a detour. Detour, sorry. <laughs> Going to the pub now, bye. <laughs> so we have got the enhancements, and they've got the, uh, all the beautiful signage side. So, yep, same deal as Trinxy World 2. Let's put them in here. I mean, what's the point of having that there? That is. Put it just uh, here would have been better, where the Pringles machine is. Not there.
Okay. And Nidia gives it a 10 star rating. Okay, well, I wouldn't give it that because of the optimization and everything in the game. It's just poor. Very poor. So I can't, I can't give it a 10. There's too many, there's way too many issues. If you go to the forums, you'll see the feedback from the uh, Train Sim World 3 feedback area, and it's just massively, massively um, loaded with issues after issues after issues. And look, I'm, I'm not surprised with. I, I said to you guys before Train Sim World 3 is released, I said, get ready for a whole bunch of new surprises of bugs and all kinds of crazy stuff. So, the wonderful world of Dovetail Games, it is a magical place. Hey, <laughs> right. <laughs> Run by a bunch of feckin' bloody idiots that don't know shit about how to do the fucking game right. That's why I love about SCS software. I still, I think SCS software are one of the best in the game for optimization, for its um, taking its time to get everything correct, get its research and everything, and for all the maps they do for both Euro Truck Simulator and American Truck Simulator. It's well, well done. Um, I'm hoping at one stage, I know we've got, uh, you know, mods and everything for maps and everything, but once again, um, I explained to you guys before, I don't do maps because they just, for American Truck Simulator, uh, because it crashes the game for me. And it doesn't matter what order I put them in, high priority, low priority, it doesn't matter. The only one I've been able to use in the past is the MTA Pro mod uh, map, which I find these days to be just useless don't even bother using it it's just stupid uh so and the guys are rude the guys are rude uh, rude nazi to be honest so uh yeah all right what started off as a uh, stormy night has turned into a nice beautiful night and has ended our final trip on our Craves club showcase Our next live stream is coming up. I will bring that up very shortly. Okay, let's have a look at the result. And a silver. I'm not surprised on that one, actually. I was pretty slow on that one. I was just cruising. I was enjoying the storm more than anything on that one. That was awesome. All right. So that was our Creators Club Showcase uh, with the Stanford Connect uh, Class 375 uh, on the Southeastern High Speed Extension uh, with the new 2019 timetable. Uh, with maximum 8647 uh, as the creator for that one. It was fantastically received. Now our next live stream is coming up later today. It is our main event of this Thursday and our Thursday tradition of American Truck Simulator. As we bring to you Thursday Night 18 Wheels, episode 39 live. Tonight I'm going to be rolling with a Kenworth T909 with a TS, uh, with a TSA uh, Belly Deck B-Double. And with my latest paint job creation, ladies and gentlemen, uh, of a plumbing uh, manufacturer here in Australia, which uh, that carries the plumbing on the uh, on the B-Doubles and... Uh, trucks and trailers around here in Australia so uh, that's going to be uh, coming up later on today and uh, we've got absolutely awesome awesome lights over the whole top of it underneath over the tops lights everywhere it's it's an absolute gem of a truck and trailer and uh, we're going to be starting out of Arizona Phoenix Arizona today with that run so two hours of American Truck Simulator from 8 p.m. in the east coast of Australia 7 30 p.m. South Australia Northern Territory 6 p.m. in Western Australia 10 p.m. New Zealand 5 p.m. Indonesia 3 30 p.m. India 11 a.m. UK 12 p.m. Germany 6 a.m. Boston 3 a.m. Los Angeles come and join us then for Thursday night 18 wheels live here with the Aussie Don all right and then later on today, I will be doing some more Train Sim World action after that. So I will be posting some more uh, onto the channel uh, in the next hour or two. So thank you very much for watching, and we will see you on the rails again sometime soon. Thank you for all the comments and everybody coming along. Have a great day. Hooroo. <laughs>